Let's find the lateral stiffness of this steel moment frame. Okay, so the steel moment frame has two columns and a beam, and the columns have a size of W12 by 170, and the beam across has a size of W24 by 103. So the first thing we need to do to find the stiffness is we need to uh, find the right equation to use. Okay, so we have a pinned moment frame. Uh, you can tell because there are two pins here. And so if we go to the pinned moment frame, here's the stiffness equation. Okay, so it's equal to K equals six times modulus elasticity over H cubed times one over H over I Let's see, h over i c plus l over 2 i b. Okay, so once we have that equation, we can basically start plugging everything in. So we know that the modulus of elasticity for steel is typically 29,000 ksi. And the height is 15 feet. So let's do 15 times 12 is 180. All right, and that is all multiplied by one over H, which is 180, divided by IC, we need to find that value, plus the length, which is 30, so 30 times 12 is 360. 360 divided by two, and we need to find IB as well. Okay, so we can look up the moment of inertia for um, the W12 by 170, and that's in the steel, the um, AISC steel construction manual. And for a W12 by 170, I is 1650. Okay, and for the beam, the moment of inertia for 24 by uh, 103 is 3000. So basically, all we have to do is plug all of this into our calculators and we'll get the stiffness of the steel moment frame which is 32 k over inches. If you did the last example of the concrete wall you'll notice that this moment frame is um, three orders of magnitude less stiff than the concrete wall in the previous example um, because steel moment frames are inherently inefficient for providing stiffness and require more material than other uh, seismic force resisting systems. Steel moment frames are inherently less stiff than concrete and that kind of makes sense intuitively.